Guys, welcome to today's video. I'm in London. I've stayed in a hotel overnight and today we are going to explore the world. Well, London is our oyster today. I've got a few things that are planned and then other than that, we're just going to see what happens. And I wanted to take you along with me. But first, I want to have breakfast in bed. Honestly, I'm in such a good mood. I never stay in hotels, so this is really exciting for me. I'm only in a premier inn, but I'm loving it. I'm having a great time. I'm about to have a porridge pot with some honey. And yeah, then we're gonna get ready for the day. I need to get ready, but I'm procrastinating so much because I'm just having such a good time. I'm making like TikToks and yeah, I just love my own company. Is that really sad? Like I think doing 24 hours in a hotel room, that would be a breeze for me because I'd just have, I'd have such a good time, yeah. Anyway, I literally need to get changed. I need to leave in like an hour. And uh, I am in a disgusting oversized shirt and I need to shower and I'm gonna put some, oh. <coughs> I think I just lost my voice a little bit there. And I'm gonna put some makeup on. So I'm gonna see you when I look a little bit nicer. I'm all ready, I've got some makeup on and let me show you my outfit quickly. Just a really big, long coat with a little top and some comfy jeans. I need to leave like now because my appointment is at 11.20 and I need to get there and decide what earrings I want and I'm really indecisive. So I'll probably want a little while. I did it. I wasn't allowed to record the actual piercing. I don't know why, but um, anyway, do you like them? Now I'm heading over to a bookshop just to have a little look around. And this feels so strange vlogging in public. I'm a little bit embarrassed, but we're doing it anyway. Oh my gosh, London is hectic, isn't it? I'm back at the hotel room now. I grabbed a meal deal, just ate that. Lovely duck wrap and crisps from Marks and Spencers. And yeah, I'm just gonna chill for a little bit because it's busy out there. It was like lunchtime rush and I'm a little bit overwhelmed. Let me properly show you my ears and talk you through what happened and what it was like getting my piercing done there. I decided to get a Helix and my seconds. I love them. The reason why I really wanted to go to Astrid and Miu is because they pierce them with these dainty little earrings. A lot of the time when you go to piercing studios, they will only pierce them with like little metal balls and I don't want that personally. I like diamonds. <laughs> I'm a girly girl. I like girly earrings. I was literally in there for like 20 minutes. I signed a little document saying that I agree to not swim for the next four weeks, etc, etc. I signed a document to say that I didn't drink alcohol in the last 24 hours, even though last night I had about five drinks. Oh, bad boy. Sorry. That's me, guys. I am. I'm bad. Um, anyway, yeah. So then I went down into the little piercing bit downstairs there was a lovely man and basically talked me through it they don't numb you or anything which apparently you're not supposed to get numbed like to be honest it literally doesn't hurt it's a sharp pinch and it's done in a few seconds the lobes are more painful than the cartilage if you're worried about getting your helix done don't worry at all it it literally doesn't hurt if you've had these it'll be less painful than that i promise you and someone did ask me recently how was my tragus? My tragus actual piercing I got done a couple years ago now and it was completely fine. It's healed lovely to be honest. I did have helix piercings before and they didn't heal very well so I hope this one will heal. But my tragus, yeah, healed great. The only thing that I remember being really annoying with my tragus is when it was healing I couldn't wear 
earphones or like airpods they just fall out because obviously it's in the way but i take it out now when i'm wearing earphones and i only really put it in for days out and if i'm going out on a night out and then i headed over to that bookshop just to have a look to be honest i'm pretty sure it's the first bookshop that's ever opened in london like years ago hundreds of years ago and yeah it was quite cool it was it was massive it was very pretty inside and the smell was amazing i love the smell of books plan for the rest of today i'm gonna go out i'm in stratford at the moment i'm gonna go to westfield and get some more earrings <laughs> I know. I'm going to pop into TK Maxx because I noticed there was one just around the corner from my hotel. Uh, I'm not feeling these right now. Like, I'm literally not feeling them at all. I want something with just diamonds. And I'm thinking about maybe getting a new Tragos one as well. So I'm just going to see what they have in TK Maxx, to be honest. And I've got the worst blisters on my feet ever. Like, literally, I probably have about seven blisters now. So I need to get some plasters. And I'm going to pick up a cheeky iced coffee. I really fancy iced coffee. Look, it's kind of sunny outside and it's warm in my hotel, so it feels a little bit like summer. I know it's not, it's only March and it's freezing, but it feels like summer. So I really want an iced coffee. The thought of it is making me drool. This is the view from my hotel room. It's not very nice, but can't complain. After I go shopping and drink my iced coffee, I'm going out for dinner later and I'm going to go see a theatre show. I'm going to see the Book of Mormon which is supposed to be pretty funny. I've never seen a West End production, so I'm really looking forward to tonight. I will film the theatre a little bit, but I know that you're not actually allowed to film anything, obviously, while the play is on. And I'm pretty sure we've got really bad seats. <laughs> like, they're right at the top, because they were only £40. And seats in West End go up to, like, 180 sometimes, if you want to sit right at the front. So, yeah, that'll be interesting. But I'm excited, and we're going for food. I think we're gonna go to the real Greek somewhere where I've always wanted to try because I love a gyros I remember having a gyros in Greece and there to die for I imagine it won't hit the same because it's winter and March in England and I'm not by the beach but still gyros or we might get pasta I don't know gonna wait and see anyway let's go shopping and I'm really dying for a nice coffee get me that iced coffee let's get the coat off oh shopping is just shattering isn't it lucky I uh Picked up a cheeky iced coffee. Other than my iced latte, which is delicious. Let's give that a mix. Wow. I got these tiny little earrings from Claire's and I'm gonna put it in my Tragus. Tragus. Is it Tragus? Because that sounds weird. Yeah, I went to TK Maxx and it was a really bad TK Maxx, to be honest with you. To be honest with you. Right, I have got about an hour now to spruce up my makeup and get changed into a nicer outfit before I go out for dinner. Let me show you my the vision that I had for my ears when I put all my little prettier earrings in. I'm going to take these out as well. I don't actually like them anymore. This was my vision. I really like classic, plain, sparkly, not too big. And yeah, I'm really happy. It was quite expensive to be honest to get them done in that shop, but for me it's worth it because I'm never gonna take them out <laughs> until the day I die. Anyway, let's get ready. I'm feeling like putting my hair up tonight, so I'm gonna get ready a little bit early just in case it goes wrong. I don't know why, but there's something about being on my own in a hotel room that just makes me wanna throw a slumber party. Oh, oh, sorry I put the kettle on. Don't know why I started recording when I... I knew I put the kettle on. I'm having a peppermint tea. Yeah, maybe the coffee's made me have a little bit of a uh, energy boost or... Hyper, hyper. I'm a little bit hyper, I guess. I fancy dancing. Yeah. So, cue the dance montage. Late at night, not okay. All I want, and I pray. All I need are some better days. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror. So foggy, but I've never seen clearer. I don't really think anyone can save me. And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving. I like to be my own worst enemy. There's no risk if you don't. I'm ready. Oh my god, I think I'm losing my voice. Wow, that was not in key, or is it in pitch? I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm ready. All I've got to do now is wait for five o'clock. I've got 15 minutes to wait for five o'clock, and then I'm going out for dinner. <sighs> I just can't wait for summer. I love this time of year. 
I'm just feeling really positive right now. I think it's because the blue sky's out and I've not seen a blue sky in a very long time. It's been cloudy really often lately, really often. Yeah, I think I'm in a good mood also because I really like my piercings. Anyway, let me show you my outfit. I have worn this outfit before. I re-wear outfits all the time. I think it's a great idea. It reduces stress because then you're like, ah, what do I wear? Oh, I know. I'll wear the outfit that I've already worn before. And I know it looks good and it's comfy. Well, I think it looks good anyway. I'm not like saying, oh, I look amazing. Um, anyway, like, I literally wore this at the weekend to go to the cinema. Not with the belt though. I dressed it down with like a casual uh, jacket and some boots, whereas I'm gonna wear it with heeled boots tonight. And I got my hair up, lots of makeup on, glittery eyeshadow. And I'm excited to watch the theater. I'm so excited. Cheers to the best seats in the house. <laughs>